Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link in the description below. In this video, we will see how to send data to the IoT platform ThinkSpeak. It will be useful for your project to store sensors data and then process them later. It's also possible to control objects over the internet using that kind of a platform. Uh, this is uh, the, the site. You need to create an account. I have already one. In ThinkSpeak, a channel can contain up to 10 fields. They will hold your sensor's data. Here, I will create a new channel. I will activate only two fields. Later, we will see our data here. Let's come back to the site easycoding.pm and open the tool TuneYot for ESP32. First, I will connect it to the Wi-Fi network. To send the data, we will use this block. We will need uh, the key. Beware, as we are sending data, you should choose the right key. This part will contain the data that you will be sending. In the example, I will send random numbers between 0 and 100. You can add uh, more fields uh, by clicking on uh, this uh, button. Here, I can send the uh, temperature sensor uh, data or any digital uh, input uh, value. The else statement will be useful to verify that the board is connected or not to the ThinkSpeak site. I added a delay of 15 seconds because I'm using the free service of the site and you are allowed to send a request only every 15 seconds. And here we are. We can now upload the program to the board and open the serial monitor. First data was sent. I will now open the site to check. As you can see, we have a new data on uh, both fields every 15 seconds.
I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.